Hello there people, I uh, just thought I'd do this tool review on this uh, Bergen automotive relay tester. Uh, there's obviously other ways of uh, doing stuff out there with relays, testing them or whatever, but uh, I'm always looking for an easier option, a uh, safer option when I'm working on my car, so I thought I'd go for this, uh, try this relay tester. I've gone for more of a cheaper option uh, by Bergen. There are more expensive versions out there, but I've gone for Bergen. Bergen I've used some of their tools in the past and they've always been alright for me as a DIY. So uh, so I've gone for this. Uh, it's a pretty simple setup really. Uh, comes with two leads. Uh, you hook it up to your battery or a 12 volt battery source uh, with alligator clips. Uh, <clears throat> the idea is, is if you think you've got a dodgy relay, you take it out and put it into uh, one of these three uh, settings here uh, and then you put it through uh, a cycle and it clicks it, uh, it activates it 10 times and it takes a, uh, a resistance check from it and uh, it tells you if, it's con if it has good consistency for the relay so it goes through a cycle and it keeps clicking, you can do it as many times as you like but it does it 10 times uh, and it does it for a 4 pin and 5 pin which is a bit of a pain in the ass really because I've got a three pin relays in cars that I've worked on in the past so I can't really test them but four and five pins which I think are more common these days with the circuitry in cars so uh, so this is what I've got anyway so I'm just going to take it through it uh, the idea is is to uh, hook it up to your battery in your car but I'm going to use my booster pack so uh, same thing so the idea it comes in comes in like this comes in plastic casing so I'm going to take it out it's got the instructions on the back and if you want to have a look at that uh, I'm not going to read through it so you can read yourself there are the instructions of how you do it so I'm just going to uh, take it out just be careful with these packages as well because they're a bloody pain in the ass you end up really hurting yourself So this is it. <clears throat> Have a look at that. So this is a setup. So the idea is you put it in four pin or five pin, then you press test. If it's a green light, relay's okay. If it's a red light, then apparently it's done. It's dodgy. It doesn't work, or it's not con constant enough to uh, to work the circuit. So what I'm going to do? I'm just going to take unravel it. And then I'm going to wire it up to my uh, 12 volt battery source, which is here. So try and sort of bear with me as if uh, if this has been hooked, hooked up to a battery. So I've got 12 volts, so, so that's positive and negative. Hopefully, yeah, there we go. So it's on. Uh, so a red light comes on to say it's okay. And the idea is get your relay, which is a, uh, a four pin relay. So I'm going to set it to four pin. And I think it goes into that one there, like that. So what I'm going to do is just press the test. There you go, so it goes through the clicks 10 times and it looks some consistency. And once it's gone through the cycle, if it finishes on the green, then that relay is okay. If there was any connection issues, like you've got corrosion in there or whatever, it will go through the cycle, keep doing it again. Uh, I think you take it out and then put it back in again to do it again. If you want another test, just to be sure. So it's coming as green again. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the test is going to work, you know, because you know you can't sell these sort of things if it doesn't work. So uh, this is a good known relay. Don't have a bad one, uh, but I'm pretty sure that when I come to use it, if I've got a relay issue, that it will pass its test. Uh, it's got to be better than 
taking relays apart or wiring them up and adding 12 volts to them to get them to click and trying to find continuity with a DVOM and getting all tangled up and all that. This is, I think this is going to be, it's got to be all right. You've got a four pin and five pin. Uh, I'm sure there's better versions out there. In fact, I've seen them. Uh, that's pretty much it really. I mean, it's quite well made. I mean, it's light, it's plastic. It's got two good gauge wires on it. Uh, I don't know what it'd be like if I dropped it, but overall, I think it's quite a good, uh, quite giz good gizmo. Uh, obviously, proofs in the pudding if you use it to do diagnostic work. Uh, putting a bad relay in and it picks up a bad relay, but uh, hopefully, this, this is not a. Uh, this is going to be a, a good tool to have. Can't see why it wouldn't be. You know, if it fails, then I'll be uh, sending a very stern letter to them to say this is a load of shit. So uh, <laughs> this is this is pretty much it anyway. I'm going to bow it out on this one. Pretty much like it. It's good for the DIYer. Good for the new home DIYer. Uh, you know, if you're a pro, then you'll have a lot of better equipment. But uh, this is a good start for ten for me. So I'm going to go with this. Hopefully, you like this uh, review. Any issues? Put them in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching.